Good morning, ladies. This is the Valder BB Show. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, on a global platform. Who do I have with me? Uh, I'm Dr. Denny Averly. I'm a radiologist from UCLA in Los Angeles. And well, welcome. I'm Julia. I'm from New York City, and I'm a seventh grader. So. Oh, you're from the big state of Texas? New York. Well, welcome, 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 ladies, so much. Dr. Denny, if you'll set the medical platform for us, and then I'll talk to uh, the young lady. Sure. Um, this is November, and this is a Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and I think the, the message that we're trying to get out is the high rates of lung cancer. In fact, lung cancer kills more individuals in the United States every year than breast, prostate, colon, even pancreas cancer combined. I think most people don't know that, and that is one of the reasons why lung cancer research funding is so disproportionately low. Another problem that we have with lung cancer is that uh, before we had a screening test for lung cancer, most individuals presented with very late stage disease. So we don't have many survivors who are able to share their story. And then finally, Lung cancer is considered to be a smoking-related um, cancer, and there is a stigma associated with that that I think has negatively impacted the urgent need that we have for funding for lung cancer research. On that last note, I never could understand why the stigma was present, but I do understand when people say, oh, you're smoking, but I can't see how they think you deserve any kind of disease. I'll talk to my young guest. I think it's Lyndon. Lyndon, yeah. mm -hmm. why, tell me why you're here today. Um, so I have been working with LCFA for the past four to five years um, because my grandfather actually passed away from lung cancer um, in 2010. So I wanted to do something to remember him by and honor him with my friends and family. So I've been working with LCFA um, and helping to do that. That's so very noble of you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Dr. Thank Denny, you. let me ask you, as this is such a big disease, we don't hear a lot about it. Is it because of what you said, the stigma, people kind of hide it and don't talk about it? You are very right, Valder. I think that the stigma associated with it is, is unusual, and in point of fact, there are many other cancer or many other cancers and even heart disease that are smoking associated that don't really have that stigma. For whatever reasons, lung cancer is the identified um, uh, culprit and the cause of a lot of, of denial and uh, embarrassment. Where are we on this disease as far as treatment, new trials? What's the good news about this? Well, I can, I can tell you that there is a lot of uh, research that is going on, and hopefully more will go on, for early detection and early treatment, but we're also focusing on advanced stage cancers and how to prolong life and improve the quality of life in those individuals. One of the things that the LCFA America does is, in fact, promote these kinds of cutting-edge research that will help us to get treatments out into the public sooner. And if there's a place somebody wanted, because I'm really trying to get people to understand trials, and maybe that can be another form of uh, healing for them, but if they want to get more information about lung cancer, how to uh, live with it, how to get over it, how to get through it, where would you send them? The Lung Cancer Foundation of America has a website, and that website is actually devoted to both patients with lung cancer, individuals who are interested in learning about it, and even the friends and relatives of those afflicted with lung cancer. So if you go to the lcfamerica.org website, there's a lot of literature that is available to you. Ladies, thank you so very much, and I need to mention that Catherine Justin. She was on uh, Desperate Housewives, and she came on my show, and she had lung cancer, and she passed away. And she also said that it was a disease with a stigma. So I hope that changes if nothing else changes. And thank you, ladies, for being a guest today. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye, Valder. Okay.